Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do this exploit bug, call it how you wanted to call it. Um, so we're in Requater, uh, Eternal Pulse we're going for. Uh, this is just a video I recorded but I'm doing a voiceover at the moment so it's not live. Um, so as you can see from the title of the video, this will be a um, level 66 named boss that we're going to kill over and over. And th there's a trick that you can do to change the respawn time, so instead of waiting 8 minutes for it to respawn, you'll only wait about 2 minutes, let's say. So I'll just show you how to get get over to that location. Um, so if you see in the video, you can just follow the steps. Th this moment here is pretty is a pretty tricky jump, so you just have to be careful how you do it and how to jump at an angle. Um, so that jump and this jump in particular are the, 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 trickiest, uh, the trickiest jumps to do. Um, same with an angle, try to get this how I show you in the video and you'll be fine. Um, here is actually the arena, so you can do the turn up pools arena here. Uh, some three ancient coffers here, but they give close to no loot. They give tier, uh, the, s the smallest tier loot for some reason. They're weird, but maybe just bugged. Here's the arena, so if you want, you can just skip the whole um, shenanigans and skip the whole mobs, just go straight to here. Uh, so, what I want to do is just um, get this out of the way. And then, basically, the bo boss that we want to kill is right there. That's the one. Level 66 box, so you'll be getting quite high watermark here for from this. So, this is a good way to boost your watermark. Um, uh, if you're killing only 65 or 64 bosses, then this will have a cap at some point. Um, and 66 box will have the highest available gear score that you can get. Um, so this is good to farm, especially in mid to the late uh, watermarks. Um, so I'm just going to show you good quick how to do this. You can just stand here where I am at the moment, uh, get a bunch of arrows, or if you have a fire fire staff or a life staff, just be, you can just get use your mana then. And what you want to do is just stand here and just hit the boss. Um, you can get his head at the uh, head there actually, so you deal like a lot of damage to it. Um, this is taking a while, but if you get a group of five people, let's say, all with range weapons, then this will be as quick as possible. It took a while for me, uh, at, let's say maximum five minutes. Uh, like I said, if you get a group here, then you'll be doing this in a minute, um, so it's no problem. Um, once the mobs just turn around, yeah, I just want to get and grab, go and grab the chest as well. So this is actually a tier 5 uh, elite chest here that you can get, so this is good to do regardless. of. Um, so if you want to just get the chest, you can do that, but it's so good to just farm this boss that it's not worth it. So as you can see, I got, I think, just two items from the boss and, uh, and an infused health potion. You can get up to two items, I think, all three items from the boss, um, and there are a lot, M mainly you get weapons from it. So it's good to raise your watermark um, for weapons with this with this uh, this farm. Uh, so what you want to do afterwards is you want to to change the respawn time on it because usually if you just stand there it's eight minutes like I tried. You want to just go down here and uh, literally this is all you need to you just need to, need to stay on this platform. Um, so you can just count it. You can stay here on the platform for two, uh, two minutes and respawn. I'm showing you that mob as well because you can kill that mob the same uh, style that you killed the, other, the, you know, the boss and there's not actually a coffer there as well you can get. Um, so in this video I actually just stand here for 1 minute 40 seconds because I mean the, the time where it started a bit late. So I'm just going to show you if I go back up um, the boss is there so it took about 2 minutes and 10 seconds I think. Uh, obviously the timer is wrong there because I didn't start it when I needed to. Um, but you can try it yourself and see. Uh, I tested many things, but from what I noticed, if you just go down there um, and come back up, then in like two minutes, then you'll see the mob spawn again. Um, yeah, just go kill it again and uh, get some loot from it as well. Like I said, this is taking a while, five minutes for solo. It's doable for solo, it's not bad uh, at all, to be honest. But if you have a group of five, then you don't split any loot and you get, um, you know, you get to do it so fast. You can see two items, a uh, nice one this time, and an uh, armor piece. Um, yeah, this is basically the main bit of the farm. Uh, you also got that um, boss, the bear boss there as well, if you want to do it, but it's pretty difficult. Um, yeah, 
and um, I'm gonna talk to you some more about what loot you get. Here you can see some of the loot I got, some of it is from another place, but some of the loot I got is there, as you can see, very high, um, very high gear score for it, um, so it's pretty good to do. Um, so the video ended here, but I'm just gonna keep talking so you can understand what this farm is good for. So like I said, this boss is a level 66 boss, um, which means that you'll get the highest gear score available. It mainly gives weapons, which uh, usually fall behind in the gear score watermark. So it's very good to farm. Um, if you get a group of five people with ranged weapons, then this will be the boss will die in maximum one minute, let's say, because you can hit his uh, his head basically, and it just counts as a critical shot. Um, so if you get a group here, one minute to kill the boss, then you you go to that place. Two minutes for the respawn time. So basically, it takes you. On, you can do it on and off, on and off for two minutes, and then you get the best loot available. So your gear, your score should go through the roof. The watermark should go through the roof. You also you got the coffers there as well. They give some loot. Um, so yeah, all in all, it's a very great place to farm. So yeah, that's a, that's about it. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Um, subscribe if you want more content like this. And uh, yeah, good luck farming.